Hello students, welcome to our new session and today we are going to start with the unit number 3. Name of the chapter is Gopal and the Hilsa fish. Gopal is the person and Hilsa fish is simply a species of fish which is commonly consumed. In this story what happens, there was a town which was very fond of this Hilsa fish and it was a season. Everyone from children to elderly, from fishermen to residents of that town had nothing to talk about but Hilsa fish. There was also a king and he was fed up of everyone talking about the same topic every time. So he challenged a person Gopal that if he could buy a fish and bring it to the palace without letting anybody talk about that. To which Gopal agreed. Not only he accepted the challenge but also won it and that we will get to know in this story further. But before that I would like you to keep notebooks and anything you write with ready because we are going to cover the vocabulary during this session. So let's start. It was the season for Hilsa fish. Fisherman could think of nothing but Hilsa fish. Fishmongers sold nothing but Hilsa fish. Come, buy. The price of Hilsa is down today. Householders could talk of nothing but Hilsa fish. How much did you pay for that Hilsa? You would not believe if I told you. And in the palace too, the courtiers could discuss nothing but Hilsa fish. Your Majesty, you should have seen the huge Hilsa I caught. It was... And the king said, Stop it. Are you a courtier or a fisherman? The courtier fell silent with downcast eyes. The king felt guilty. And the king said, I am sorry. I lost my temper. It is the season for the Hilsa fish. And no one, not even Gopal, can stop anyone from talking about Hilsa fish. Not even for five minutes. Then the Gopal said, Oh, I think I could, Your Majesty. Then let me see you buy a huge hilsa and bring it to the palace without anyone asking you a word about it. And the Gopal accepted the challenge. I accept the challenge, Your Majesty. We read that people of the town were very happy and on the other hand, King was tired of listening to this. To which the king said that there was no one who could stop anyone talking about this. And Gopal said that he could do this. To which the king challenged him to bring a Hilsa fish to the palace without letting anyone to ask about the fish. And now it is going to be very interesting to know that how Gopal won the challenge. But before that, let's do the vocabulary. So the first word which you come across is fishmongers. Fishmongers are those persons who sell raw fish or seafoods. Then you have heard many times your majesty. Now what is majesty? Majesty is power. And majestic is powerful. So king is considered to be the most powerful man. To honor him, the courtiers said, Your Majesty. In the same way, you must have heard in movies or somewhere else, the people called judges of courts as Your Honor. Honor is to address them with respect. So similarly, these people address the king as Your Majesty. And Majesty is power. The third word is, it is basically a phrase, to lose temper. To lose temper is to become angry. And the one who usually loses his temper very easily, we call him or her as short temper. Let's read further and get to know that what had happened. A few days later, why is your face half shaven? Asked Gopal's wife. I am dressing up to buy a fish. What's the matter with you? Why are you smearing yourself with ash? I told you I am dressing up to buy a hilsa fish. 
Listen to me, please. You can't possibly go out in those disgraceful rags. What are you up to? How many times must I tell you, woman? I am out to buy a huge hilsa fish. It has happened to him. He has gone mad. Gopal bought the hilsa fish and started walking towards the palace. Mother, look at that man. Isn't he comical? He must be a madman. Hush, I think he is a mystic. When Gopal reached the court, what do you want? I want to see the king. You can't see the king. Get away with you. Gopal began to dance and sing loudly. Inside the palace, the man is crazy. Throw him out at once. I want to see the king. Let me in. Bring that man to me at once. Yes, your majesty. Gopal was brought before the king. It's Gopal. The man has lost his mind. I think it's one of his crazy jokes. All right, Gopal, out with it. Why are you dressed up in this ridiculous fashion? Your Majesty, you seem to have forgotten something. Forgotten something? Strangely enough, no one seems to be interested in Hilsa fish today. From the market to the palace and in the court, not a soul has spoken a word about Hilsa fish. Only then did the king remember the challenge he had thrown to Gopal. Ha ha! Well, Gopal, congratulations. You have achieved the impossible once again. We read that what did Gopal do to win the challenge? So, what did he do? He half shaven his face, applied some ash over it, and put on toned clothes. But why did he want this? Basically, he wanted everyone to get involved into him so much that nobody even bothered the hilsa fish. And this is what exactly happened. People made fun of him, laughed at him and gave him names like comical, madman or mystic. Now what does these words mean? Mystic is full of mystery. Madman is simply a mad and comical means someone who is very strange. And the whole way to the palace, nobody asked him about the fish. When he reached the palace, he started dancing and singing very loudly. The king asked his men to bring this man at once. At once means immediately. When Gopal reached there, everybody recognized him and said that he has gone mad. And then king asked him in anger. To which Gopal said, your majesty, have you forgotten your challenge? And reminded the king about that. The king started laughing and congratulated him. So this was the story. That's all about this session. And in the next video, we are going to cover back exercise along with the question answers. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye.